While this may look like I'm carelessly playing with fire, in reality, I'm getting a hot 200th photo from my Instagram. How I got here is quite the tale though. Let me show you how it began. A couple weeks ago, I was on a beautiful bike ride, not paying much attention. I happened to look over to my right and saw this neat gazebo looking structure. And I said, Now this place has photo potential. I wanted to make sure I knew exactly what this place looked like, so I hopped off my bike and did a quick location scout. Let's check this place out. I inspected every side, railing, and corner. I was about to leave when I found this sweet side angle. It was a cool composition with some lovely leading lines. This would look sick with a person and real fire. But how in the world do I do that? I'll go home and figure it out. So I rode home to do some research. I wanted to hold fire. But I also didn't want that to be the last time I ever used my hand. All the results though either required you to be a chemist or just weren't practical for a photo. I was a bit stuck, then the perfect solution popped into my head. I quickly grabbed a coat hanger and some pliers to bend it into an elbow shape. If I put something flammable on the end of the coat hanger, I could just get rid of it and post. Now that I had solved my burning question, it was time to go shoot. Unfortunately, when I went to take the photo, I mistimed it and there was not enough light. The general idea of the photo was good, but the fire was overexposed and my hand was blurry because my shutter speed was too slow. So I went back the next day making sure it was still light out. However, when I arrived, there were some people talking and a cool guy doing handstands right where I wanted to shoot. Of course I couldn't just barge in and tell them to leave, so I decided to wait, hoping they would leave soon. After waiting for quite a while, the cool handstand guy was still there. Then I started to see this as an opportunity to get some awesome action shots. I went up to ask his permission, and he said sure, so I made sure to get every angle. But by the time I was done shooting, it was far too dark to get the other shot. It's dark out? So I headed home for the night. And while it was wonderful to meet someone new and get some interesting shots, I still wanted to get that fire photo. A few days later, I came back. No one was there and the lighting was great. This is the one. I got all set up putting the paper tightly on the coat hanger so it wouldn't fly away and lighting it up. I got into position and used my phone to trigger the camera. I stomped on the ashes and doused them with water, but when I checked the photo, the flame just wasn't big enough. So this time, I put the paper on loosely so more oxygen could get in. And this time, the picture was looking good. Now it was time to edit this raw image. First, I removed the coat hanger, then I cropped and graded it. Finally, I added some embers to make it pop. Once every 100 photos on my Instagram, I embed the number in the picture to make it memorable. For example, on my 100th post, I put the number 100 in the mountain. So this is the final version of my 200th post. See if you can find the number 200 in it. And with that, 
Thank you for watching.